My name is uh, Michel Bourez. I'm from Tahiti and I'm a pro surfer. I'm 36 years old this year. I'm part of the world tour of surfing and this year will be my 12th year on tour. Tahiti in French Polynesia represent everything for me. Um, that's where I was born, that's where I grew up, that's where I learned you know, everything from the ocean, from the mountains, and from my families and friends. Every morning I wake up with a, a dream in my head, like I want to be better, I want to be a better person, I want to achieve small goals during the day. If I can do that every day, like I know I'm going to get better uh, as a person, as a dad and as, as a surfer, that's what you know motivates me every day. Yeah, Hoopo is the reason why I wanted to be on tour. To be able to surf against the best in our home break to me was definitely a dream growing up here in Tahiti. To be part of the Olympics, it's gonna be a, a big step ahead for the future generation of surfers. Here in Tahiti, there's so many breaks. There's a lot of passes, and depending on the swell, direction, the wind, the size of the waves as well, there's plenty of waves that works differently during the day. So with my Sidu, I'm able to go from that pass to another pass. I can go check everywhere super fast. I'm gonna go fishing with my Sidu. I can put my boards, I can bring my family on my ski, I can do anything. It's like the first thing I need here in Tahiti is a Sidu, because I spend my whole day on, on the ocean. And it's good for the safety as well. With the Sidu, it's fast. They can, we can go straight to the guy super quick and grab him. The Ahopo, it's not like an average wave where you, anybody can go surf, no, you cannot. Like even a pro surfer can get beat up over there super easily. Doesn't matter who you are. As a family man, as a dad, it's a big key for me to teach them to respect the ocean and everything that surrounds it. It gives me everything that I have today. The protection of the coral reefs is a big step ahead for places like us, like from islands, especially for us surfers, fishermen. To me, everything we can do on land and on the water is super important. It doesn't matter like where you are around the world. Do the basic things, do your part. And if everybody do that, the whole world will get better super quickly. To disconnect from surfing, I usually go foiling, I usually go train jiu-jitsu. I call my friends and we go hang out on the beach with you know a family vibe. 
to me taking care of my kids and hanging with my friends and I don't think about anything else. I just focus on what I love besides surfing. First thing is they're my kids, they're my family.